Huh, so you want to manifest? You are confused. I get it. There is a lot of stuff about manifestation out there. So many techniques, so many things that you can do in order to manifest your dream life. You just need to script every single night. And Manifesting is very, 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 very straightforward. Every method that you are told here on YouTube, on internet, or the course that you bought because on the cover there was a guy meditating and it looked like he had his shit together. So today I'm going to tell you exactly all the steps in order to manifest and then we're going to go over a few methods in order to make this an actual thing. beautiful kings and queens and welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm alex Zushen, and i'm so glad you're here i'm so grateful for you and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up as it helps me grow no shit right hmm. honestly manifestation is one of my most favorite topics to talk about because truly i just feel like after understanding how manifestation works and applying it to my life i feel like i really like hack life like i do feel like it when i'm walking down the street i feel like that girl because like i, I actually have the code for life i i, I figure it out like of course i know that is not true like i'm just 20 years old and i mean <laughs> i have so many things to learn and i'm so happy to do so i cannot wait to learn all the things that i'm going to learn but this thing makes me feel like that girl. Manifestation is actually pretty straightforward as I was saying in the intro. You actually do have just three main steps. I've actually posted a reel not so long ago and it was actually one of my most viewed video. And truly you guys, like, I know that this topic, you, you, you guys care about your top. You guys care about this topic, huh? Don't you? So without further ado, step number one, a clear vision. Step number two, heightened emotion. And step number three, detachment. Let's go over in details in all these steps because guys, if you do not get these three steps and all of them, not just one, all of them, forget about manifestation. Like you can script in your journal as much as you want. <laughs> you can do all the visualization that you want. But if you have not understood all of these steps, all three, there's no way in hell you're going to manifest. And I say it with all the love in the world because it's been a while. Like I've been trying to manifest for the longest time I've never managed. And now everything is coming all at once because I finally understood these three things. Number one, a clear vision. This is a mistake that I see so many people make. I see people often trying to manifest something and then change it right away. So for example, I'll give you my own manifestation as an example. I am currently in the process of trying to manifest 100,000 subscribers on YouTube uh, for, before the end of the year. Now, I do take this manifestation really really seriously that means that if i want to manifest a hundred thousand subscriber before the end of the year i cannot then wake up and be like okay today i'm going to post a video is gonna bring me four thousand subscribers the reason why this is the case is because energy flows where attention goes so if your attention goes into two separate things, three separate things, four separate things that are in the same realm. So like, for example, you want to manifest YouTube subscribers like I do. And so I pick one number and I stick to it, but then I pick another number and I stick to it. And so my energy actually flows through all of these targets without really managing to like get to nothing. Like you can't really, you cannot really get to anything here. And the problem here is that your energy, the energy that you putting in the goal itself is split so you just do not have you don't give enough energy to the thing that you actually want to manifest making it a lot less likely 
for it to happen. Now, I'm talking about the same realm. So I'm talking about, in a certain way, the same degree of goal. If you have a goal that you want to arrive to 100k subscriber and, for example, 50k followers on Instagram, that is not the same thing. These are two separate goals with two separate manifestation process. It's not like you have to have just one single manifestation going on. But within the same goal, such as X amount of subscriber on YouTube, you have to pick a number and stick to it. Another thing that a clear goal consists of is the time limit. So you have to give yourself a time limit. The problem with not giving yourself a time limit is that you do not have it, an actual moment in time where I, you can say, okay, my manifestation turned right. It has to be a moment in time that allows you to not feel overwhelmed. For example, if I try to manifest 100,000 subscriber before the end of the week, it's fucking Tuesday right now and I have 332. Like there's no way in hell. I mean, of course being realistic, but that is just not realistic at all. It would make me very overwhelmed. I'd be like, no, there's no way in hell it's going to be able to happen. That would make me overwhelmed. That would make me feel bad about myself and so on. But 100,000 subscriber before the end of the year, that to me seems like a way more achievable goal. And I have repeated so many times within myself that I am 100% sure I'm gonna get there. It's as simple as that. The first thing you have to do is that you have to decide a clear vision. What does clear mean to you? Okay, what does clear mean to you? For many people, a clear vision is basically just simply putting a number on. Some people do feel overwhelmed with that and I understand because I also feel very, very, very overwhelmed by numbers. There also is to say that you have to pick the right vision in order for you not to feel overwhelmed because this links into the next step, so we're going to talk about it, but it's crucial that you do not feel overwhelmed when you think about your vision that you want to manifest. We talked about not being realistic in the video that I posted, and I'm not going against something that I said in another video, but here it's crucial to find something that's going to make you feel joyful. And it doesn't have to be the most outlandish goal if you feel like you cannot reach it, and every time you think about it, you get anxious. There's no point in it. So pick a goal that you feel like it's somewhat achievable, or at least it doesn't feel so outrageous, and stick to that. Put a time limit and stick to that. 100,000 subscribers before the end of the year. This is something that I feel like being achievable. A clear goal maybe would be to raise your income by a certain percentage every month or before the end of the year. Here, another one is a good one. Like the yearly time goal is a good one. But maybe you want to give yourself a certain deadline of like a, a specific event. So for example, you want to do certain thing, you want to achieve certain goals before a specific event in the future. It can be really anything. The only thing that the clear your vision has to do is that you have to be able to stick to it so you cannot change it over and over again because it does not satisfy you. It has to make you feel good and not overwhelm you to like the complete extreme. And three, it has to be measurable. So you have to arrive to a point where you say, okay, this manifestation came to my life. For me, the moment in 2024 where I'm going to reach 100,000 subscribers, that is going to be the moment in which I'm going to be like, okay, I reached my manifestation and now is done. I have manifested this. Second step, heightened emotion. Now, here is where the things are starting to get interesting because this is what people try to sell you when they try to sell you methods. They are like, okay, so do this method that's going to manifest things X, Y, and Z. Do this thing in order to manifest X, Y, and Z. Script this in your journal. It's only to get you into this mental state. So I want to show you this thing which is this thing here. So you see this beautiful little funnel, okay? This is the emotional vibration chart. What you have to take home from this is that what you want has a specific vibration. There is a quantum physics explanation, but honestly, I'm not good with that. So I'm just gonna leave it to the experts and we do not care. We're just cool little babies that want to 
achieve our dream goals and so this is exactly this is only what we need your desires have a specific vibration your achievement what you want your dream life all of those have a specific vibration you get to those things and so you can literally manifest them in your life when you start vibrating at the same vibration of that desire if this desire is a positive uplifting desire something that really improves the quality of your life it's an actual dream of yours then the vibration is going to be high and how do you change your vibration in order to match the desires vibration this this is a key you need to get yourself into those states what does this mean to get yourself into those states and as i said before this is where people want to tell you methods because all the methods that you see online are just ways to get you into that mental state. But they don't work for everybody. My methods are going to be different than your methods. I'm, they're going to be different from everybody. What works for you does not need to work for everybody. So that's why I encourage you to try to seek out those mental states instead of searching on YouTube. You'd be like, how can I manifest? I manifest to manifest. No, just worry about the mental state what i want you to focus on is enlightenment joy and love how do you achieve those states you have to get yourself to feel those emotions it's not easy at all especially if you are generally vibrating pretty low that's that's what used to happen to me i was mentally ill if you have watched my introduction to the channel you know that i have suffered from severe mental illnesses in the past and so for that reason for that specific reason i was constantly vibrating very low so i was feeling a lot of fear i was feeling a lot of sadness a lot of resentment a lot of envy it's not easy to change your emotional state with some exercise it's going to be able to come more natural to you but it's not easy at all one thing that helps me a lot is to recognize the physical characteristics of those emotions for example something i noticed is that if i try to expand my heart physically expand my heart it's a specific sensation it's almost like you are getting this heart expansion and it feels really good in this zone here and a little bit closer to your gut if i try to expand this physically and i'm doing it right now i'm starting to get very emotional i'm doing it here like and now suddenly i'm so excited oh my god everything is so amazing okay like i'm getting this reaction physically so i'm getting this heart expansion and how do i manage to do it because i recognize it when something else like external thing actually make me feel this way so what i want you to do is that you have to focus on how it feels for me the strongest emotions are gratitude and excitement like in this moment i was showing you how i actually managed to make myself physically excited without basically going to the process of thinking something that makes me feel grateful that makes me feel excited and so then i trigger the physical reaction in my body so the key is to get yourself art artificially even into this high vibrational state in order to feel excited and joyful and loving and so on here the methods are endless some people do scripting i like scripting it's just not my favorite method because i kind of have to be in the mood for it you know especially because sometimes i notice in myself like for some people work if it works for you then great but for me i notice that i first have to get myself into the mental state in order to actually be able to script effectively if you're interested in the scripting method i can make a video about this but it's actually pretty easy my favorite scripting technique is the scripting technique that makes me feel the most excited the most grateful is to script about a, a day in the future where i actually have those things this also carries over to visualization because i find it hard to visualize myself getting that specific thing i find it hard to imagine myself in the moment where i'm getting this specific thing and so what i like to do is that i like to script about a day in the life of me having already achieved those goals so for example how would i act in a day in my life where i have a hundred thousand subscribers what would i do outside of my house how would i spend my day if if I had a hundred thousand subscribers 
and so on. I have also heard people trying to manifest a marriage. Honestly, I am so against this thing. I'm like so against manifesting people. Please do not do it. But it's a way for me to give you like an example that's easy to understand, easy to grasp. For example, if you want to, for example, manifest a marriage, so you want to manifest being married, you think about a moment in the future where you will actually be already married. You do not think about the wedding, you do not think about the marriage, you don't think about who your husband or wife is and you just go on and think about okay so today I woke up and I rolled over and my husband or wife was there and I gave them a kiss and I woke up and I made breakfast. Everything was so nice because today was a really sunny day, it was Sunday so we decided to go for a walk and have a picnic at the park close to our house. Late. Okay, like this is what I mean. The only thing that this serves, like the only purpose that this serves is to only get you in the mood and to reaffirm this specific thing. Because this is exactly what you have to do. Is that you have to get yourself to think about it so that this thing stays in your mind and it really keeps creating this core sensation and so on. So we talked about clear vision and heightened emotion. And once we've mastered these steps that are like kind of like e a lot easier, we get the third step, which is the motherfucking hardest. And this is where I've seen so many people telling me I cannot manifest. I actually had this conversation with a friend the other day and she was telling me that it was impossible for her to manifest because she would always get anxious about her manifestation. This is where detachment comes in. I have already made a video about the touchment. I went very much in details about it. So I'm not going to go like super, like I'm just gonna go quickly over this topic. And if you want to know more, you have, that video is going to give you all of the details that you want because truly guys, without this step, the manifestation is not coming. Detachment is essentially being okay with that manifestation not coming, or at least it's being okay regardless of that manifestation. The truth is that you cannot get your manifestation if you are constantly concentrated on a lack mindset. So you basically operate from a scarcity mindset, from a lack mindset. So there are several reasons for that, but the main, they all link into the same reason, which is the fact that you are just not vibrating high enough. We talked earlier about enlightenment, joy and love. Those are abundant emotion. So you have to be abundant. You have to become an abundant mean, which means that you have to be okay on your own. For me, what has worked until now, like what's keep working for me is to basically work on my self-concept. I have been undergoing this mental diet in a certain way where I try to remove all of the unpleasant thoughts about myself so that I can clean out my self-concept as much as I possibly can because that is really the key. If you are okay with yourself and if you think that you are enough and you can accept your life the way that it is, you just completely remove the anxiety. Acceptance and gratitude is the opposite of anxiety and that's because acceptance and gratitude stem from abundance whereas anxiety stems from lack and you feel anxious and overwhelmed because you're way too attached to your desire in that you are not okay with yourself. I am working on my self-concept a lot and the reason why I'm not so attached to the goal of 100,000 subscribers is that I am okay. I know that I'm going to be okay regardless. I know that my life is going to be so, so beautiful regardless of these 100,000 subscribers and I'm okay with not getting them. I feel like they would be a very nice addition to my life, but that they, they don't really mean anything about me. I know myself. I am a one-year-old girl from Italy who's now moving to the United States States to live with the love of her life. I love, I love helping people. I love oat milk and I love matcha with oat milk and I love everything with oat milk and I love fish and I love sushi. I love pizza. I love books. I love going for walks and talk endlessly with my friends. That is what makes me me. That is what makes Alex Sushin Alex Sushin. 
not the 100,000 subscribers. Of course, here I had to go pretty quickly because I had already explained all things detachment in the video that I linked in the screen. So of course, do not forget to check that one out because it's so, 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 so important. It's so important. Another thing that I really want you guys to do is to check another video that I made on manifestation and you can find it up here. And this really helps you take your manifestation to the next level so that you can finally live the life of your dreams because you deserve it. You are worthy of all the love in the world and I truly cannot wait to see you in the next video. So stay tuned, subscribe to the channel as it helps me grow. So I see you guys in the next video. I love you so much, bye.